Aloha, everyone. Uh, welcome. Today we are going to uh, replace a clutch return spring on a 1974 Volkswagen Thing. Uh, this is going to be this, a similar process on most uh, Type 1 engines uh, and older Volkswagens, 1960s, 1970s. Um, and this is the return spring that's mounted on the clutch arm. Uh, which engages the um, throwout bearing, uh, which in turn um, engages or disengages the clutch on your um, on your Type One engine or Type Two. Um, anyways, we're gonna get busy on this. Let's see how it goes. This is the spring right here that we are going to be replacing. I'm gonna attempt to do it without disassembling uh, too much. Um, the engine is out of the car, but hopefully this is something you can replicate with the engine in the car. Um, this is what I pulled off there. I was able to pull this off without a disassembling, but as you can see, the arm on this has been snapped off. And um, I didn't realize something was wrong. Um, I just thought the clutch was adjusted weird. Uh, what was happening was there was basically no free play in the clutch. Um, and I just thought it was adjusted too tight. And I wanted to take a look at it while the engine was out. And lo and behold, I saw, found the broken spring. I ordered a new one. This is what it's supposed to look like. This is that arm that, or, or that kind of loop that goes around the arm and holds everything tight. Uh, so we're gonna see if we can get this thing on there. All right, so I'm obviously underneath the car now. Um, here's the arm, the clutch arm. Um, and uh, I have the luxury of having lots of room to move in here because I recently removed the engine. Um, but your situation may be a little bit different where you're um, in tighter quarters, but hopefully the process is gonna be the same. Um, the first step, is to take this uh, wing nut off the clutch cable and then remove the clutch cable from the eye right here and push that out of the way. Um, that'll give you lots of, uh, hopefully enough room to maneuver. Um, this is the new uh, clutch return spring. So, or the clutch arm return spring. So that's obviously gonna go in that position um, I'm going to have to slip this over and just kind of work it in and then somehow get that to do that. And then this uh, to push into place and the whole thing to kind of uh, budge into place. I don't know, <clears throat> maybe some screwdrivers. I'm going to just kind of play around with this and see how I can get this going. But we're going to we're going to try everything we can to not have to disassemble this whole arm. All right, here we go. So this is the point where you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're wearing safety glasses because you are working with a spring that has some tension on it. So you wanna make sure you're protecting yourself. Uh, okay, almost got this bottom piece on. Okay, like it, it kind of wants to go. So that bottom piece is in. Now it's a matter of getting the rest of the spring to go there too. Go on. Hopefully this is all still in the viewfinder. Okay. Oh man. I think I may have got it. Not bad. That wasn't too bad. Just a little bit of finagling with that spring. I think it's in though. I think it's in position. It's kept in place right here by these two nubs and this, the bottom part of the spring. 
I think it's over all the way. I can't quite see it. It feels like it's over, but it's definitely doing the job. Nice. So once you get the spring seated, uh, just kind of make sure uh, with the engine out, you can check your throw out bearing and the lever arm and stuff. Um, and with your engine in, it might be a little bit more difficult, but just make sure everything's operational. Then you can take your clutch cable, feed it through, and I'm gonna have to depress mine a little bit to get this th threaded on there. All right, and then you can go through your clutch adjustment procedure. Make sure you have your free play at the pedal um, and your clutch is engaging all the way for shifting gears and you're good to go. All right, everybody, uh, that's it for today's video, short and sweet. Um, I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, hit that like button, leave a comment. I always love hearing from you. Um, and uh, aloha, mahalo for watching. We'll see you next time.